Hello, I'm Professor Wool. Today we'll be discussing the different data sources for application connectivity discovery. So in a previous lesson, we talked about a situation where we're trying to discover business applications in the data center, and we're trying to do that from network traffic that we are uh, recording. Um, so our goal is to arrive at a high-level description of the application using its name and the flows that it relies on. Uh, and to do that, uh, we suggested attaching a sniffer to the network, recording all the traffic in the data center like this, and then having software analyze this uh, captured data to produce the higher level uh, description of the applications uh, that we're looking for. And one of the powerful mechanisms to achieve this is to use deep packet inspection. So uh, the software would look inside the recorded packets and search for interesting pieces of information. So for instance, if you have an HTTP connection, it's possible to see inside the packets um, the HTTP commands and the names of the scripts that are being called and the arguments being passed to them. And this information can be uh, mined uh, to identify, for instance, that the application is called payroll. We can deduce that because the string payroll appears here in a few places. Um, and we can deduce that um, this, these connections down here that are using SQL are connected to the flows of HTTP above because we can see the same argument appear here and here. So having access to this information and using deep packet inspection provides us with levels of information that let us uh, get this higher level of abstraction we're looking for. Now, this approach has two challenges that uh, we should bear in mind. The obvious one is volume. Recording all the traffic in the data center is a tremendous amount of uh, packets that need to be stored, uh, need to be processed. It could be expensive, it could be prohibitive. Uh, the second thing is this data potentially is becoming less and less useful because of the use of encryption. To use DPI, the software has to be able to look into the packets and understand what's there and recognize the various strings in the packets. If instead of HTTP, the application were using HTTPS, all these payloads would have been encrypted and the DPI software would have nothing to look at and will be unable to deduce anything from the encrypted data. We're seeing encryption deployed also uh, in database protocols, in email, in many other places. So encryption is on the rise and it's hiding these interesting pieces of information from the DPI software. Given this, there is an interesting alternative to consider and that is NetFlow. So NetFlow is actually a standardized uh, protocol that produces information about traffic without uh, emitting the whole traffic. It aggregates traffic and provides statistics and metadata. So in this example, um, these three packets over here have the same source and destination, maybe switched, uh, and the same protocol, so they're all in the same TCP connection. NetFlow would emit a single record for all of them together saying there is a connection from this IP to that IP using HTTP and it would suggest a counter counting how many packets in were included in the flow and maybe some timestamps etc uh, and we will not emit the payloads just the uh, header information from the packets so um, NetFlow is a much more condensed uh, a data source, it aggregates many packets into one record and it doesn't include all the payloads, it just includes the meta information, so it's much shorter. Uh, and so using NetFlow reduces the problem of volume. Uh, the other thing that NetFlow has, uh, which is in our um, uh, advantage, is that many pieces of network gear uh, are able to emit NetFlow um, through a simple configuration change. Uh, it's part of routers and switches um, uh, that you might have deployed in your network anyway, so you don't need to deploy another piece of equipment uh, to gather this information. Now, the information that NetFlow provides is 
a lot less than what you get from a packet capture, but if the packet capture is encrypted, then you're not really losing any information through the use of NetFlow, and you are gaining the other benefits of uh, reduced volume and uh, using existing gear. So it's a very interesting alternative to consider if you have it available to you, uh, something to bear in mind. Thank you for your attention.